welcome to another episode of Positive Parenting with Astrology. I'm your host and resident Gemini, Maria Rieger, and today's parenting tip of the week is for Aries children. So if you are the parent of an Aries boy or Aries girl, this video is for you. Uh, before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to get your free regular Positive Parenting with Astrology content. I'm going to start putting out uh, more regular content, uh, so if you have any questions that you want addressed in future videos or any topics that you'd like to hear more about, please comment below or email me. My email address is in the description to this video. So Aries kids, as we know, Aries is a fire sign, a cardinal sign. So it's, so being a fire sign, it's a masculine energy sign. It's a sign that comes from a place of doing. It's about action. It's about asserting itself on the stage of life. All great things. Aries people always have this really significant presence. And being a cardinal sign, it's even, it makes it even more action oriented. It's forward moving, forward thinking, always thinking about, you know, the next action to take, uh, what it needs to do to get things done, things like that, as opposed to fixed energy, which Scorpio, Taurus, those are examples of fixed energy signs those uh, signs that energy has a harder time with transitions that energy fixed energy is more concerned about changing things so they remain as they were before or they they exist as they were before stabilizing things things like that so the cardinal energy and the fire nature of the sign makes aries an extremely impatient action oriented and even aggressive energy and aggressive in the sense of it kind of aggressively attacks life. So this translates into Aries children having an insane amount of physical energy. Now all kids, especially boys, have a lot of energy, right? But with Aries, it's almost like they're about to combust, especially when they're younger kids, they're about to combust. They cannot sit still. They cannot pay attention, right? When they have this, this energy that's kind of about to explode. So the tip I want to share with you is that if you know you're going to be somewhere where the child like can't run around freely like a crazy person, or if it's an older child and you need to have kind of an important conversation with them that may take more than like five minutes, earlier in the day, you're going to have to let the child just like run rampant. You're going to have to find an activity where their energy is completely expressed out you like squeeze every ounce of energy physical energy from them that you can when they're babies even before they're walking you can have them crawl like upstairs that's a great way where they can just kind of crawl upstairs to be to expend the energy that's obviously like if you're going to be somewhere where they can't you know crawl around and move around they have to be sat still for a bit and then older children you let them run around and you let them, um, you have them engage in like really physical sports where there's a lot of running. Soccer is a good one. Basketball is a good one. You're running back and forth, you know, very physical. Any like cardio related energy is going to be great to just get out every ounce of energy they have because Aries is by nature very impatient. So if you have an Aries child who's already kind of prone to impatience and they, they just are bursting with this energy that they have not been allowed to express, they're not going to be able to pay attention to you when, when, and if you need to talk to some about them about something important, right? And this may also be helpful if you have someone in your life who has ADHD, like I do. Um, it's hard to get the ADHD person to kind of sit down and focus on a conversation, especially if you have something important to talk to them about, because they're always, almost always distracted. They, they have a, uh, trouble concentrating, trouble paying attention, trouble sitting still. So it's almost like that. And I don't want to suggest that every Aries person has ADHD. That's not true. I don't want to suggest that every ADHD person is a strong Aries. That's not true either. But the energy and the dynamic is similar in this situation. So the point is you have to find an activity where the Aries child can literally express, it's almost like expressing juice out of like a lemon, right? Express every ounce of physical energy that they have so that they can be sat still for a bit. And so, um, or in the case of older children where you have to have this important conversation with them, they can actually pay attention and 
focus, okay? So that may seem like a very simple thing, but I'm always surprised at how many parents do not seem to understand that. Like a child who just, you know, cannot sit still, very distracted, like just has the urge to get up and move, they can't pay attention. Look, I'm an adult and that happens to me sometimes and I cannot pay attention when that happens and I cannot listen and I cannot internalize what the other person is trying to tell me, even if on some level I know it's important. Okay, so that's the, the dynamic I'm talking about here. I'm always surprised by how many parents get upset with a child for like not listening, not sitting still when, when there are ways to address that, right? And again, it's hard to kind of think of these things logically when you're stuck in the day-to-day -day of parenting because you're not far removed from it, you're in it. So it's hard to kind of minute by minute sometimes know what to do or think ahead. But to the extent that you can, it's very helpful to just have your Aries child do something very, not, not necessarily strenuous, but just very active so that later they can actually focus. Um, one listener that I talked to recently on this channel, who's an Aries uh, adult, indicated to me that her parents would take her for walks around the neighborhood before bed to kind of expend every last bit of energy so she would go to sleep more easily. That's a great idea. So things like that. So walking may not always cut it, especially if you're talking about an Aries boy. You may have to have them do something like soccer or field hockey or basketball to like get the energy out. But you will have an easier time talking to your child about something important or kind of managing them if they're younger, if they've had an outlet for the physical energy. So that's what I wanted to go over this week and we'll be back soon with more content. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Thank you very much.